Thanks for watching Afternoon Live. Are you one of the many people who wakes up with numb hands or fingers? Here to share why it might be happening and what we can do about it, we welcome back chiropractor Dr. Chris Cooper. Great to see you. Thanks for having me back. This isn't mysterious, as mysterious as I was thinking it was. No, this is super <laughs> common. Yes. Most people, like you said, you sleep on your hand funny and it goes yeah. to sleep. Tingly feelings, numb feelings. Okay, so but not like suddenly waking up with the loss of your hands or something. Like I'm, well, I mean, it feels like that. <laughs> right, it feels like right, that. Okay. You wake up and your hands are so fat because it's like, what is it? Yeah. What is this feeling? Okay, so what are we doing to ourselves? How can we make this stop? So that when things go numb, it's easiest to think about this in the story of nerves. Okay. So I brought a little model. So this is a model of someone's neck. Okay. The little yellow things are the nerves that come out of the neck. Your spinal cord goes down the middle. Okay. And then at every segment, one nerve goes off. And the ones in your lower part of your neck go to your arms and fingers. All right. And so somewhere along the pathway between the neck and the finger, the nerve is being irritated or pinched in a way. Okay. And so an easy thing to think about is think about a garden hose. Uh-huh. And you, s you squeeze that garden hose, you start to pinch it a little yep. bit. It downstream, it changes the flow. Mm -hmm. You know, it comes out kind of tumbly or shoots even more. Well, if I squeeze it even more, it goes, it just stops the flow. Mm -hmm. And so that is very similar with how nerves work. Okay. A little bit of a pinch makes your hands or your skin feel tingly or crawly yeah. or weird ants. Uh, if it's pinched all the way, it just goes numb. Mm -hmm. And so commonly it's pinched up somewhere in your neck or your shoulder but it can be pinched anywhere along the stream if you yeah, got that I garden hose think all the way up here that that could affect yeah it's not super common to have it come straight from the neck right. usually that's a disc problem okay but it's really common to have it come from your shoulder sure and it's really common to have come from your elbow it's really common to have come from your wrist okay this is like carpal tunnel right you know if you ever hit your funny bone that's the nerve yeah and so the nerves are just they're easy to be squished and pinched. And so sometimes it's as easy as like fixing how you sleep. You know, right. people sleep with one arm above the head or sleep yeah. with their hands underneath the pillow. And ah, every time I wake up, I'm, s I'm numb and <laughs> tingly. <laughs> well, it's probably just fix how you're sleeping. It is kind of hard to coach yourself out of a comfortable oh. habit like that though. 100%. <laughs> yeah. You know, awake Chris says, I'm going to sleep good tonight. <laughs> and then as soon as I fall asleep, you know, I'm moving around. Yeah. Who knows what a sleep Chris is going to do. A sleep Chris takes over. He's going to sabotage <laughs> me all every time. <laughs> but you can uh, do some things okay. to kind of help unpinch. Uh, often it's because we are tight in the shoulders and the neck. Okay. So things like good posture. Yeah. You know, squeezing your shoulder blades together and tucking them down. Yeah. You know, this will just relieve the muscles that attach from the shoulders to the neck. Okay. And so there's a less likely chance to get pinched at night. That's, you know, more preventative. Sure. You could also stretch it out. So you could reach towards the floor. Okay. Lean your ear to the side. You'll feel the stretch between your ear and your shoulder. Yeah. You could also look down and you'll feel it oh, more in the back. Interesting. I love that one. That yeah. one feels good for me. Okay. You could also look up and it oh, kind of stretches okay. more on the front of your neck. Okay. So it gets all these muscles that are likely to pinch on the nerve as it okay. goes down your arm. You could also do something that's kind of fun. It's called nerve flossing. What in the world is that? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> so these nerves, you can move them. And so sometimes they get stuck, like scar tissue or whatever. Okay. And so they just, it's like these stretches don't work. Sure. So this is more of uh, a way to like loosen up the actual nerve. Okay. Not so much the, the muscle tissue. Sure. So it looks like this. You curl up your arm like a butterfly's nose or whatever, and you lean your okay. head towards this, and then you stretch it out. And it turns into something that looks like this. Okay. And um, <laughs> so <laughs> this is for the nerve. Sure. And so you do this like, you know, reps of it 10 or 15 or 20 okay. several times a day and that could help too that was so simple though just that I know, simple motion yeah. over and over will kind of release a little bit yeah it what it does is it takes the nerve and kind of moves it back and forth okay like this is kind of lots of uh laxity in the nerve and this is kind of a stretched nerve okay and so it just moves it back and forth and then it allows it to have space i can deal with that that's not, simple enough not too hard <laughs> 
<laughs> not very strenuous. I think we can all get behind that one. Easy peasy. Thank you so much. It was great to see you. Always great tips. For more at-home tips from Dr. Chris, just head to our website at katu.com. And we'll be right back with more Afternoon Live right after this.